welcome back to Riftforge Studio. It's Neil today for a Heresy Thursday ramble, review, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyone who saw the uh, ramble that I did with Reese from Attrition Gaming um, uh, a week or so ago uh, will know that the subject of Legions Imperialis came up. Uh, and today's uh, preview focuses on some units for that upcoming game. Now the game itself has, uh, you may have heard us mention on the previous stream, has a split opinion somewhat. Tom's not hugely keen on it. I'm very keen on it because I'm old enough to remember original Epic and then the you know, Epic after that and then Epic after that. And I'm very, very keen for small scale, large scale warfare. Uh, so much so that I'll probably even try playing this with the 28mm rule set and just extend the range of all the guns just because who does want a field? You know, 40 Leviathan Dreadnoughts or stacks of Thunderhawks and this sort of thing, I think could be great fun. Um, so anyway, on to the units themselves that have been shown. As you can see on the screen, they've previewed Leviathan Dreadnoughts, Rapier Laser Destroyers, Derridero Dreadnoughts and some Tarantulas. So the first thing that struck us looking at this was the redesign of the Rapier platforms, which uh, look an awful lot like the side of the sabers actually. I wonder if they've just fiddled with that design and, and miniaturized it. So it certainly fits the aesthetic, get my words out. Um, and it does beg the question of whether they're now going to come out in plastic for, for 28 mil scale. Games Workshop do have a history of kind of hiding things like this in plain sight. And I think the same could be true of the uh, the Solar Auxilia Sentinel that's been shown off already. That could well be a prelude to it coming in plastic on a larger scale. Um, as for the design itself, I quite like it. Um, I don't love the current rapier design. It's okay. This one's okay. Um, I don't really have any, any feelings either way. Um, the tarantulas, much the same, really. They're okay, aren't they? They sort of do the job, although... I don't know, the uh, the missile one maybe looks a little bit like the uh, Hammerfall bunker. That just might be my uh, Primaris prejudice coming in. Um, Derrida's with plasma and auto cannons, not the last cannons, interestingly. So I wonder if they'll come later or whether they'll end up being something like four drawed upgrades um, in resin. Or maybe as I scroll down, they'll just appear. Who knows? So, Leviathan, let's look at the weapon options. Claw, Drill, Storm Cannon, Melter Lance, no Grav. Um, and what's the other weapon? Do they have another weapon? I feel like they do, but I can't remember what it is. Maybe they don't. Maybe I've just made that up. Um, but yeah, the Derrida ones are certainly missing the other weapon options. Uh, and none of the uh, fancy Borealis missiles on the top. Uh, well, actually, what I could do is read the actual article, isn't it? And let's see if it actually says anything about other weapon options. Hmm, doesn't appear to. Okay, well, we'll see. I'm sure they'll come out in the fullness of time. It was pointed out to me that someone has drilled out the barrels for uh, the quad mortar, but not drilled out the barrels for the laser destroyer. Um, which is interesting. Maybe different studio people built those kits. Uh, or maybe they come like that, who knows? Yeah. Tarantulas, uh, last cannons, and I assume that's the Hyperios missile replacement. Um, yeah, no heavy bolter tarantulas, or indeed um, heavy bolter rapiers. So that's interesting as well. I feel like there's going to be either a second wave of these plastics, um, or there's going to be like they've done with the, the 28 mil scale dreads, so maybe there'll be an update, uh, upgrade sprue, sorry. Or maybe they'll lean into four drawed upgrades. Um, I mean, who knows how much there'll be. Resin upgrades for a, a tiny Leviathan dreadnought probably still be about 12 quid. Well, anyway, um, so Legion's Imperialis, we haven't covered it as a whole yet, really, because I think we're going to wait to get the uh, the main game, or certainly I'm going to wait to get the main game, uh, get it all built and painted up quickly, learn the rule set, probably do a game on the channel using some of the AT terrain. Um, I'm not sure who I'll rope into that. Probably Sean. Um, I know Tom's not keen, so probably Sean. 
uh, and then we'll give a proper rundown of what we think. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. I think it looks good. I'm glad there's units popping up for it now. Um, I've really got my heart set on the miniature Stormbird, which hopefully is going to arrive at some stage. Um, and don't get me started on the uh, mini mechanic faction with loads of Orden artists going around the place. Uh, I'm very excited for that too. Anyway, um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. We've got loads of plans for things coming, different bat reps and campaigns and tutorials and all sorts. Um, the, the more support we get, the quicker we can bring those to you. Um, we enjoy doing it anyway, uh, and we will do it anyway, in fact, but it will just happen faster with more and more support. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. Are you excited for Imperialis? Are you not excited? Do you think it's just going to disappear like uh, Aeronautica has recently uh, in, you know, in a year or two? Or do you think it's in for the long haul, as they've already got the plastics for Titanicus and Aeronautica in place, certainly for the heresy planes anyway? Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. So thanks very much, and see you next time. Oh